This was originally a uh, older video I did. This was uh, originally episode 12 of the channel, um, I believe. Uh, yes, it was episode 12. But yeah, music fan requested me to do it again in English. So we're gonna do that because he didn't understand that, and probably no one did. So I'm gonna do it again in English. Um, do I have some prediction? Well. I've done the list already, so I've seen it already, but um, yeah, I can remember the top two, top three maybe, um, yeah, but that, that are of course obvious choices, so you can figure it out for your own. Um, I think uh, Touch Me is going to be on there, that's a great song, uh, Road Out Blues maybe, really bluesy song, as the title suggests. Um, yeah, some picks like that, when the music's over, the uh, final song of Strange Days, uh, one of my favorites, really love that song, uh, yeah, I love The Doors, a uh, classic band, and yeah, I have a really, really lame joke for you, uh, well, joke, it is something that I've done already, I've, uh, I have a Doors poster, and it is on my door, so... Yeah, uh, some friends have uh, criticized me for that, that it is really fucking cheesy and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not sure why I brought that up, but who cares? Um, yeah, I'm just really fucking lame. That is the message that I'm delivering to you. But uh, yeah, let's check out the list and uh, let's see what's on there. Requested by MusicFan993, who wanted me to do the first 20 videos of the channel because I've done them in Dutch. To do them again in English. So there we are. Come on, come on, come on, come on, not They're riders on the storm. Riders on the storm. Probably gonna be number one. Welcome to That's on. And today we're counting down our picks for the top ten door songs. chosen our entries based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. That is number one right there. I can already guess it. When the music's over. But they, they have to shorten it five minutes though at the end of the show. That is a bit lame but the song itself in its entirety it, it is one of the best. Yeah, and this song I just mentioned, I predicted it, and number 10, really? This list must be uh, gold, if this is number 10. The closer to the door sophomore effort is so good, you actually hope the music isn't over when you hit the 11th. This is a pretty strange song on the record, because um, mostly we have, I believe, 7 other songs that are 2 or 3 minutes long. So the album would be 15 or 20 minutes in length or something like that an EP length, but then this song comes on and you think um, is this really a door song because it is so much longer, so much experimental that um, it is so much different than any other door song so that is why I love it so much I'm not saying that the doors are shit or something but it is uh, such a diverse song for them especially in 1967 uh, That is really special, um, what, what the narrator just said that uh, Raymond Zurich has a, a organ, a piano that uh, plays like that and it has a bit of a bass vibe to it so that the doors don't need a bassist but they have Raymond Zurich for that but he doesn't have a bass, he has a piano which is uh, really special, never seen that before and we don't really had anything ever uh, after the door. So um, you, you can say to me some bands that have uh, do this like the doors, but I can name anything from the top of my head. So comment something down below if you know, if you know uh, some bands. After cracking a dark and quiet atmosphere, the band brings us to a noisy but effective climax that leaves us wanting more. Uh, 
uh, Love Number Me Two Times. Love me two times. Also yeah. from Strange Days. Uh, yeah, a great record, but uh, I'm, I mean Love Me Two Times. It is a it is a classic song. It is, I believe, two minutes long, as the title suggests, but um, I mean above when the music's over, no. I mean a two minute song above a ten minute song. I'm not saying that the uh, the length is everything, but 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 still, when the music's over, delivers so much more in that time span than Love Me Two Times can ever do. Just saying. Still a great song, but not about it. Magical songwriter. The Doors managed to pack just the right amount of romance into this short and sweet tune. Yeah, that is the only flaw I have with this song that it is not even three minutes long, but oh man, do I love the crystal ship. Just the atmosphere, the like the narrator said, the romantic atmosphere that this song really delivers. It is so magical. Um, I have reviewed this record, the self titled record, the debut. But if you want me to do it in English, man, I will be happy to do that. <laughs> you can already guess the rating from my face, but it's such a magical song, man. Such a magical record. That was also the B-side to the Light My Fire single. At just a little over two and a half minutes long, the Crystal Ship features Morrison crooning away while its poetic lyrics and the band's musical talents set the mood. <laughs> Arguably the only good song of the record, but I'm not the biggest fan of the Soft Parade. Uh, we still had some classic songs um, from the top of top of my head, uh, self-titled. But besides that, Touch Me is the uh, easier, easily the the best song of the record. I believe that Jim Morrison was really drunk around the recording sessions of the Soft Parade. Well, he is drunk and stoned all the fucking time, but especially around that time. He is such a rebel. You don't, you don't want to know. You probably already know, but there we are. Just when you hear the song in the in the late 60s, uh, early 70s, yeah, music was really at a high point. I mean, Beatles, Zeppelin, Doors, Who, um, Floyd, just so many classic acts that released their masterpieces to the world, and it it is just just the best times of music when when those bands uh, really made music. Some of them still do, um, from the top of my head. Well, actually, no. Uh, I want to say the Who, but they haven't made a record in like 11 years, so go figure. Pretty shit, so don't listen to it, but um, yeah. Um, yeah, this is going nowhere, a uh, good song. So much diversity in just three minutes, man. Number six, people are strange. Hmm. I believe the most popular from Strange Eyes. When you're alone. 
Sponsored by European Cabaret, this top 20 single definitely captures what it feels like to not be like everyone else. Normies. That is what the song is about. Very relatable. Addressing hippie culture and possibly Morrison's own feelings as an outsider. Uh, LA Woman? Yeah. Five, LA Woman. Arguably the best record. Well, you're not gonna beat the self title, but still, it comes, uh, it comes close as a second, at second place. It is a close second, that is what I'm trying to say. You cannot speak for shit, but you already know that. It goes up, it gets better. Just uh, halfway through when the song gets really hyper in your face. I really love that moment. One of the highlights of their entire career. Along with an extra guitarist and some electric bass. The almost eight minute track stands out especially for its effective combination of blues and psychedelic rock. How is this number four, man? On the door self-titled debut, this appropriately titled track. It is the end, and it is arguably the best song, man. Oh, love it. Epic number for How is this number four? Namely, its apocalyptic ambiance, spoken word, and dramatic climax. Come on, baby, take a chance, meet us. Meet me at the back of the blue bus. Meet me at the back of the blue bus. Do not. 11 minute plus number is also memorable for its fusion of acid rock, raga rock, and art rock, which serves to heighten its theatrical nature. Perhaps because of this, the song was famously used in Apocalypse Now. It's just perfect. Break on through. Break on through to the other side. The Doors' first ever single may not have been an American chart hit, but it still became a smash with music lovers and concert goers alike. Yeah, unfortunately, The Doors are one of those bands that um, their best work is their debut record. Uh, you can argue about that, but well, it just is. It is a bit unfortunate, but yeah. I mean, the first six records by them when Jim Morrison was alive are really magical, really something special, and uh, well, are just legendary records, especially the debut one. Featuring Bossa Nova and jazz fusion flavors, alongside some blues and proto punk elements, Break On Through was the perfect introduction to Morrison's trademark vocals. John Densmore's animated drumming, Krieger's electric guitar, and Manzarek's keyboard riff. And let's not forget that unusual organ solo. Riders on the Storm. Number two, Riders on the Storm. Riders on the Storm. Yeah, this um, may sound a bit strange, but maybe this um, maybe this is for me a funeral song because it is so chill, it is so dark, it is so atmospheric that it really fits at a funeral. But hey, maybe that is just me. The acid rock track just just fits perfectly. So if if you're gonna die, play this song, man. <laughs> it is a masterpiece.
supposedly the last song they recorded together. Riders on the Storm is also a fan favorite, later inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. Riders on the Storm. Number one pick. Here are a few honorable mentions. Roadhouse Blue. Ooh, I predicted this one. Uh, yeah, I love this song, Morrison Hotel. Actually, that was not on the list, so that was a bit strange, but uh, but still, one of their best records. Hello, I love you from Waiting for the Sun. I believe they ripped the song off from The Kings, but I can't be wrong about that. Alabama song Whiskey Bar from the self titled debut. Lover Medley from LA Woman. Peace Frog from Martian Hotel. So many great songs on that record. Really underrated cut. Yeah, but number one. It is Watch Mojo, obvious, so. Number one, Light My Fire. So obvious. You'd be hard pressed to find a classic rocker that doesn't recognize the organ intro to this Billboard Hot 100 chart topper. Yeah, but they have Ray Manzarek for that. Based on Morrison's deep voice and Ray Manzarek's keyboard playing. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it really sounds like a bass, doesn't it? On this acid and psychedelic rock single, which isn't only their signature track, but also often considered one of the greatest rock songs ever. Yeah, arguably. It is way up there. Maybe top 20 for me, top 10. <coughs> no, nah, top 20. Yeah. Comes close in the number 10 though. <laughs> really doesn't matter. The end. Arguably the best song. Love it even more than um, that Live on Fire. But that is maybe stretching it a, it, it a bit. Self titled debut record is still amazing. Still love it. Um, Hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the doors. I think they're great. Their first six records with uh, with Jim Morrison are amazing. Uh, even Soft Parade, I still think that is a pretty good record with Touch Me on That and the self-titled uh, self-titled song on that. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh, post Jim Morrison, not the biggest fan of that. Uh, let's check out the comments for a bit. Uh, yeah, guys sharing is top 10, the end is number 1, when the music's over, oh yes, top 2 definitely, great, great picks. Um, no, no Doors top 10 is complete without Peace Frog, yeah I agree with that, that's a great song from uh, Morrison Hotel. Yeah, more guys saying the end is number 1, that is really good. We need, an, we need another top 10 door songs. Yeah, arguably, maybe. The Doors and Led Zeppelin are live to me. They are pretty good bands, so... Must give them a like for that. Uh, what the end is, isn't number one. What the fuck? Yeah. A lot of people saying the end is number one, but yeah. Arguably the best song. Um... Yeah, a lot of people saying Peace Frog and uh, The End, number one, stuff like that. Greatest rock band of all time, period. Wouldn't go so far because they don't have the best discography, but still. They are a great band, cannot deny that. Um, yeah, people just sharing their uh, own songs are not pretty interesting. But I hope you've enjoyed this video, let me know what you think about this uh, video. 
I thought it was pretty good. Llama Fire, uh, Riders on the Storm, uh, the top two, so pretty obvious choices. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Let me know your favorite albums, your favorite songs. And I hope you have a nice day and enjoy the doors. They are a classic band. They are a timeless band. And let me know if you want me to. Let me know if you want me to do some uh, albums by them, uh, because I will. Uh, I, I will be very. Uh, I, I will be happy to do them because they're simply just a classic timeless great band. Easy as that.